For thousands of years, man looked up into the night sky and pondered the mysteries so far beyond his solving. Now, abruptly, he has found ways to bridge the gap between this earth and other worlds. For man, a new era has been born, the age of space. What will life be like in this new age? Century 21 tries to answer that question by constructing a vivid realistic projection of man's world tomorrow in five main areas of his environment. First, the world of Century 21. How and where man will live, work and play in the next century. And the world of commerce and industry, the machines, materials, methods and products of tomorrow. Next, the world of visual art. The line and shape and color of man's creative activities in a world of vastly increased leisure time. Then there's the world of science, a fascinating panorama of tools and techniques that man will use to probe deeper into space and into the mysteries of life itself. And finally, the world of entertainment. Music, dance, drama, sports, and of course, a futuristic gateway designed for sheer fun in any century. These are the five worlds of the Century 21 Exposition. Under Exposition President Joe Gandhi, Century 21 audaciously bid for approval in Paris by the Bureau of International Expositions. To get it would mean that no one of the 30 European member nations could officially exhibit anywhere except at Century 21 for the next 10 years. Visitors moving from one world of Century 21 to another will walk the boulevards of the world, a pattern of streets and avenues lined with colorful shops, bazaars, bars, and restaurants. Century 21 did get it, thanks in a big way to being able to produce no strike pledges for the exposition period by Seattle area labor unions. Just east of this work and extending north toward Mercer Street is the central mall of the exhibition grounds. Along this mall, to be lined with trees, one feature will be an international water sculpture display like nothing ever seen before. Across the way, the armory is being transformed into a food circus pavilion to feed and entertain the hungry multitudes. The exposition central boulevard extends from Mercer Street along this side of the armory and on south to a scenic knoll and the five-unit U.S. Science Pavilion. Another of the five worlds of Century 21, the world of science. Near here will be erected those buildings that will showcase the tomorrow look of U.S. industry. Moving then back to the north again, we come to the spot where workmen are now busy driving pilings. This is construction for footings for what will be an exhibition hall, and to the west of that, a new playhouse. And farther east, the old ice arena is also due for modernization. And the parking lot on the corner of 5th and Mercer becomes part of the Gayway 21 amusement strip. Then moving south again, we pass the stadium, which will be integrated into the exposition grounds and used for Century 21 events. And from there, on to the monorail terminal and to the Space Needle with its tower restaurant.